definitely not the outcome that a lot of people had anticipated when this game was uh, you know, when this game was scheduled or uh, previously. So you know, we now of course tied in with ASU, and ASU is going to really have to come up huge and do something quickly here to put this uh, Rebel fire out. Jankel will kick it away, a little split kick, but it will bounce to Williams at the eight yard line. Across the 20 and knocked down for 24. Bring it up again, ASU, knowing Georgia is right around the corner next week, right here at Sun Devil Stadium. The number two ranked team in the country coming in, maybe overlooking this game. Maybe it's, it's natural to do that, but UNLV has squared things on this play right here. Our Hampton Inns play of the game. It's a tremendous job by the wide receiver here, just looking at the ball. He's only a freshman, so if you think about it, he's only going to get better. And that's a scary thought when you're a Mountain West opponent, when you think that this kid's going to be around for another four years. So Hampton Hotels play the game, and now Rudy Carpenter with just 13 seconds, you think. He played close to the best here. Do you take a chance on your 24? Nope, they'll hand it off to Dance. Across the 30. Hooked up at the 33-yard line, and that will be the final play of this game. We're heading to overtime. Final play regulation tied at 20, and what a battle for Dennis Erickson here in week three. Coin flip coming up as we look at the overtime rules, refreshing you. If you don't know, each team getting a possession at the opponent's 25. Team routines, retains that ball until it scores or fails to make a first down. Ideally, you'd like to go on defense first to know what you got to get. And it's going to be tough with the, the tank, Frank Summers, out there. He could be a difference maker in an overtime period. Yeah, the momentum's definitely right now favoring the Rebels. They've just been on fire here in the second half. They've been able to play really efficient football. They've been able to march down the field, get those uh, crucial plays at, at, at critical times. And right now, the momentum is favoring UNLV, so ASU has to regroup, they got to focus, and they got to find a way to come out of here with a win tonight. We'll have the coin toss, and we'll come back for the overtime period. This is a shocking in a lot of respects. You know, we talked about how UNLV has only had four winning seasons since the Randall Cunningham years, 1984. But how about just one win in their last 22 road games? That was at Utah State. Here they are against the 13th ranked team in America at a standstill and heading to OT. They knew coming in they were going to give the doubles their best shot. And that's sometimes when it's dangerous to have a game like this before a bigger game because maybe there is a tendency to over overlook the opponent or not take them as seriously as you should. But again, it's Division One football. See the two captains out there, Carpenter and Nolan, flanking Laval and Nixon. And, uh, you know, I thought the comment Mike Sanford made a Jody Jackson was so apropos heading into the third quarter. We're out here to win this game. And they have come out and they have taken the fight right to ASU. They've been the aggressor here. We're going to have a coin toss, same coin, this is heads, this is tails. Two things are different. First of all, if you win the toss, you can't defer. You need to make your choice right now. And the winner of the coin toss gets the choice of being on offense, defense, or the end of the field that you wish to play at. We clear? Okay. UNLV, it'll be your call. You're calling? No. He calls tails, and it's heads. And so we say you want a choice. You want to be on defense, what end of the field do you want to play at? We'll go down to that end of the field. You'll stay here. So Jack Wood. UNLV will be on offense. We'll play at the scoreboard end of the field. Explaining things, the Devils will go on defense first. That's what you'd like to do. And that's what we will be doing after the break. The overtime period coming up from Sun Devil Stadium. Rebels and Devils all even at 20. Back after this. D backspace. Tie. All time. The Devils 4 and 2. The Rebels are 1 and 3. Mike Sanford's team, they learned something from that game against the, a ranked Utes team. And, they have played very well the second half. They did not play well the second half in Salt Lake City. They have stepped up their 